Hello! Long time no vlog. I decided to revive the vlog because we've been let out of super lockdown. We're still in gray zone here in Toronto, which is still pretty damn restricted, but some things are open and you can meet with friends outside and stuff. So I have decided to revive the vlog since I'm doing a couple things. Sweet sounds of construction. Anyways, um, yeah, today is the 24th. I took the day off from work because COVID has left me with so many vacation days. Like I haven't taken a vacation in so long. So I've accumulated so many vacation days. So I'm taking random days off every week, either Wednesday in the middle of the week. So I break up my week to Monday, Tuesday work, Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday work weekend, or I'll take an extended weekend or like on a Friday or a Monday. I'm just, you know, changing it up some sparkle in my life, keeping it interesting. <laughs> so today I have some errands to run. I am going to pick up some books. Um, if you guys don't know, I do a virtual book club with my girlfriends. It was a personal book club between the four of us, but we've since extended it into Clubhouse. So we do a virtual book club. And so I'm gonna go pick up a couple books for that and uh, go to HomeSense. HomeSense is like a Marshalls or a home goods in the States, I think. And I'm looking for dining chairs. I have a few that I like from CB2 and Crate and Barrel, but they're kind of expensive. So I'm hoping that, you know, maybe I'll find some really good ones at HomeSense for less before I bite the bullet on the expensive ones. So I'm just gonna take you guys on my little adventure. Maybe you guys will help me find these things. Come on with me. Before we go, I'll show you my O O T D. But I am wearing my J Brand Jean t shirt that I love, my New Zara jeans that I love, my JW Anderson loafers that I love, my Isabel Morant jacket that I love, and my Kelly bag that I love. I mean, I think the theme here is things that I love, but I love most of the things in my closet, so it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, well, see you there. Hello, we are home now. I'm gonna do a haul. Okay, so update, didn't find any chairs, but I did go to Pottery Barn and it reinforced the love for the chairs at Pottery Barn. I still have to go to CB2, but honestly, the Pottery Barn chairs are just my vibe. I'm obsessed. I think those are the ones that I'm gonna go with. But yeah, so I'll be spending an arm and a leg on three or four dining chairs, but whatever, whatever. This is forever, right? This is forever. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little bit of a home haul for you guys. Actually, I'm gonna take off my rings first because I hate wearing rings at home. And I love that my head is chopped off for most of this. All right, so home sense haul. Let's start with this. Ooh! We got a box of Belgian chocolates. Um, the, sh the shell chocolates are my favorite. The I don't know the name, I'm gonna totally butcher this, but it's like, Gillian or Gylian, Gy something like that. This is the name. And they're my favorite, absolute favorite. I love them so much. And I wasn't able to find them during the holidays. So there were shell chocolates, which is probably like a knockoff of the, the originals. But I'll take it because I haven't had it in so long. So got this. Next up, the, I'm excited about this. I got this big wood bowl. I love, I love. It's very large and in charge. So this is just gonna sit on my counter and hold fruits and stuff. And I guess when push comes to shove, if I have, if I host, when I host, if I always host, when I host, I can, I suppose, wash it out and use it as a salad bowl. Cause it's really, really, really nice. I really like that. It's humongous. It is humongous. All right, all right. Up next. A shelf, a tiered shelf for my spice rack. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, that's a hot mess, so I needed some type of organization in there. 
Um, oh, suction hooks for our master bath for like our loofahs and stuff. Oh, this is such an exciting haul. Uh, silicone sink strainers. I have metal ones right now, the metal mesh ones, and they suck. They just like have stuff stuck in them. And that's, that's not it. That's not the way, honey. Oh, this is exciting. I got a an apron. Wow, what the hell? If I can figure it out, then I got an apron. What is actually happening? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's so cute. Super cute. Gray apron, like my gray kitchen. Um, I just get food and sauce on myself all the time when I'm cooking, so problem solved. And I think these are the last few things. Okay, I got hand towels for our master bath, which is gray. I got a black towels or a black towels for our main floor bathroom because all the accents are black. Okay, now moving on. That was my home sense bit. And then from William Sonoma, which is a favorite. I spent far too much time in there when I can. I got these little black bowls that were on sale. They're $7. So I got four of these because all of our bowls and stuff are black. Um, but I only have like larger size bowls, so I needed some small ones for like a side of soup, you know? Vietnamese people, Vietnamese food, they love a side of soup, and I didn't have proper small soup bowls. So I got those. I did get something that I had to order, which I'm very excited about. I'll post a photo of it, but if it comes on time, then I'll post a little uh, B-roll clip <laughs> of my very exciting purchase, which is, you know, I'll tell you about it. Um, it is a Shun chef's knife. I currently have, like I went to Japan a couple years ago. There's a vlog, I think, or there's a couple videos on here and um, loved it so much. It was my favorite. And before I left, I bought, I bought Japanese knives and they're not, I didn't get stainless steel ones. I got steel ones, regular steel ones. So the upkeep is hard. I'm not very good at it. And I use them for everything. I only got one, a Sentoku knife. I think that's what it's called. You know, I might, might be butchering this. So let me let me just say this properly. Google this. It's a, it's a Santuku knife. So it has. I'll just show you. See how bad it is. It needs. I don't even know what it needs. But it has the curved edge here. I guess. Um, I love it so much. This is the one I cook with every single day, and I use the hell out of it. And I need to get it sharpened. But it literally cuts yams like butter. Amazing, amazing. Anyways, so because the upkeep on this is so difficult because it's not stainless and I'm still bad with it, I'm terrible. I've been meaning to get a Shun knife set, but they're so expensive. And the one I want is like $1,700, which I mean, in the grand scheme of things, like, okay, a coat or new shoes or a block of knives that you use every single day, it makes sense. But eventually I'll pull the trigger on it. But I was at Williams Sonoma and I bought a chef knife because I don't I have a Sentuku and Sentoku. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Don't drag me. But um the chef knife is knife is a little bit longer. It's an eight inch, so I got that. I'm very excited about that. And then I got some kitchen scissors from this brand that I'm not even gonna try to say. Yes. Cause I needed some proper like new kitchen scissors that were like heavy duty and sharp so that's it for my home haul yeah um i'm gonna chill out start making dinner i guess and i will see you guys next vlog day my bad i said i would show you my spice drawer area So I will show you. Look at this. Disaster. It's just, it's hard because everything in here is like big. So I can't really reach or see the stuff in the back. So this hopefully will fit one and be better. We'll see. Okay, it fits. This is amazing. This is way better. That I'm just gonna leave the way it is because it is what it is, but way, way better. I love this. A little bit more organization there are still things i need like this is 
where I keep my salt, but this is where my ground black pepper is, and then I have the whole black pepper. It's just a mess. So I need other things for this, but for now, we'll see how it goes. I am a little afraid that I'm going to reach for something and then pull it out and knock all this over and it's going to smash. But the upside is these are from the dollar store, so if they do smash, then they're cheap to replace. But yeah, this is what it looks like now. Amazing! These are the things that make me happy. Hello! Welcome back to the vlog. Today is date night. And we weren't planning on date night to be tonight. It was supposed to be tomorrow on a Friday. But tomorrow is going to be raining. And I don't really want to sit on my patio in the rain. So we changed it to today because it's super warm. And this little thing on my finger right here is my eyelashes. Because I worked and I was working a little bit late after 5. And I didn't have time to really get ready. I wanted to curl my hair, but none of that happened. So we are on road. We are in car. Oh, let's put my eyelash on before we get to the spot. big hoop earring with math. It doesn't make any sense. We've arrived. It's a hot date. Free barbecuing outside. Me neither. I'm mostly bloated. So much drinks later. So many drinks later. We couldn't do Korean barbecue because it wasn't open. Are you cold? Look at my heart date. It's time to go. The battery's gonna die. Say bye. Bye. to get the Korean corn dog, but the line was insane. So we Uber Eats for pickup. He's <laughs> wide. <laughs> so good. Now we're back in the car waiting for our corn dogs while everyone stands in a line. And this is Nicole's first alley experience. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see what she thinks. Yeah. Is it like the the ice cream kind of? Mm -hmm. I feel like the ice cream is based off of this. Oh yeah. There's real milk. milk. Mm hmm Right? And I noticed you ordered real milk too and I was like... I'm gonna just hurt later. <laughs> <laughs> it's my real Asian. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god. Ooh, but I'm home. I'm home now. It's dark in here. But we're gonna have some corn dogs now. Yummy! Okay. The potato ones are my absolute favorite. They are definitely the superior. I don't know which one this is. I got two potato ones. One was I think a corn dog and cheese, and one's just cheese. Okay. And we're gonna drink. So I'm gonna see you guys next vlog day. Bye. Hello! It is Saturday. Feels like Sunday. April 3rd. I just finished filming tomorrow's YouTube video. So. I'm really contemplating whether or not I should edit right now or go wake Daryl up because we were supposed to go do a booze run today, fill up the bar. We're building a bar. I mean, we have been building our bar for a long time now, but I feel like 
we weren't doing it well like we were just buying random things to fill up a bar or create a bar but we want to but but recently let's say a couple months ago we were like okay we need to like figure it out like what do we drink a lot of we need to stock up on this and the people like the people around us our friends and stuff what do they drink so that you know we have the right things in the crib not just like randomly buying you know like random stuff so we were trying to i don't know organize it well so we do like planned booze trips to the liquor store so today was that day we were supposed to go to the liquor store but they're all taking a nap and i just finished filming and here i am on the pat mcgrath website with things in my cart not a lot of things but i really love pat mcgrath like i have a couple eyeshadow palettes i have the skin fetish foundation which i swear by it is my favorite light to medium coverage foundation it just looks like skin i'm wearing it right now and it's just flawless and i have it in a lot of colors for my paler days and then in the summertime when i'm more tanned so i currently have these in my cart can you guys see yeah so they're having a 30 percent off sale or 25 percent off sales oh my god and i have the concealer brush because i need one the concealer and this oh this is not the one i wanted ew i'm gonna change that but um faux real i was gonna buy another faux real that is one of my favorite um pat mcgrath lip glosses anyways i'm here like pandering do i need them probably yeah i'm probably gonna buy it let's be real yeah for real i'm wearing that too like it's just my whole face is my whole face is pat mcgrath right now well no no i lie but it is the important parts <laughs> okay so i'm um, should i go wake him up or should i start editing this video because it needs to be out tomorrow and wait for him to wake up and then go i don't know should i spend money so many things i'm pondering pondering anyways i'm gonna get back to this maybe i'll start editing and i'll see you guys shortly when i take you guys to the liquor store and show you what i bought on my booze haul and show you the bar that we're building i will see you guys later I did it. I ordered it. Can't leave it by myself. I swear to God. All right. Anyways, back to it. Back to editing and then to the liquor store. So first, because the weather is getting warmer, I picked up some rosés. This is one that we had last year. My friends got for me for my birthday that I really enjoyed. And then this Sophia rosé looks scrumptious too. So pick those up. I am a red wine gal, so I had to pick up some red. So I grabbed, usually I love the Napa Valley 689. I think it's a Napa Valley. So, but it wasn't at the liquor store today, so I got a Sonoma County Zinfandel Dry Creek Vineyard. And then this one I think is a, an Australian wine, if I'm not mistaken. And it is also a Zinfandel. I like a Zinfandel, you know? Dark, smooth, gold. I like that. Alright, next. Into the vodka. Vodka. I prefer a Kettle One. Kettle One Botanicals is a fan favorite. Cameo by husband. Hello. And then we got the Ciroc Limited Edition Summer Citrus. That sounds like fun. So why not? I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> Look how fancy this is, babe. Okay. Up next, Daryl got a red label for his scotch bottle that he filled with scotch decanter. And then he got a Pinot Grigio. I'm not a white guy, so 
He likes his white. I only use whites to cook. And then, of course, Hennessy and Hennessy. And we're trying to build our cognac collection. So we got the Baron Otard cognac. So we haven't tried this, but I read really great reviews. So I'm excited to try it today and compare and contrast. And I think that was it. That's it for the booze haul. Now to put all the booze in the bar. So this is our bar situation. So here is a bookshelf. This is stuff we've gotten overseas, cognacs, and then liquors and liqueurs. Not a lot of liqueurs. And then here is wine, more wine. There's more Hennessy there, a bunch of champagne and Hennessy down here. And then all our tools and stuff and decanters. day 300 of lockdown we are grabbing food right now daryl just played ball with some of his friends and i laid on the grass with the girls and watched and chatted now like i said we're picking up food and then going home and i'm probably gonna paint a little bit that's about it that is my life now so i'm gonna show you guys what we're getting we're getting heartbreak chef which is so good. It is downtown Toronto on Dundas West. It is fried chicken and mac and cheese and sandwiches. And it's so good. So damn good. Um, yeah, that is my cheat meal. I've been eating clean for two weeks, so can't wait. forever this is the best pandemic activity because it's just so lengthy um but yeah so i am determined to eventually get this done so today i'm gonna allot a few hours to doing this I did like a few more colors. Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. We've done a lot. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next video.